Hi everyone, so this is an example of a, uh, an interactive presentation uh, using the Screencastify extension of Google and the uh, uh, Genially interactive uh, app, presentation app. So uh, this is an example of that to accompany my uh, learning packet for uh, macroeconomics topic two uh unit one two three which covers uh gnp gdp and measurement of national income so i'm going to run through this presentation which uh, the student can view through a link that i can send to them in um, google classroom so there are there, there are so many elements here so this is sort of like an instruction uh audio this is a video uh, in YouTube that I want them to, to watch. So I linked it here. There's another video here, I think. So if they click this uh, button, uh, they'll be able to see a video inside. And then this is uh, another interactive button wherein when the student click this, they can see the key takeaways. So here in the bottom are my audio recordings for this particular presentation. All of these icons, uh, once you click it, will uh, show some of the terms that I would have put normally in a PowerPoint, but it is more interactive and in summarized form. Okay, so this is another one. Uh, so this is an article I want them to read regarding the uh, GDP of the Philippines, current data. Uh, stating here that uh, in the first uh, quarter of 2020, there was a decline in our uh, uh, GDP growth, primarily because of the pandemic. So they will be reacting to this. And in the learning packet, there is a, uh, there are guide questions for them to uh, uh, answer. So here is uh, another definition. So they just click it and then it comes out like that. Now, according to best practices, uh, uh, mas okay then if the students can hear our voice at mas okay kung uh, kita nila ang ating picture. Pero for this video, hindi na muna ako naglagay ng bubble head where you can see my photo or my uh, face using my uh, laptop camera. So here is an example of a guideline here. I put play all the recordings below and click all the icons above. Okay, here is uh, a directional uh, like video. Uh, okay, audio so for this video, uh, watch the whole length of uh, the daily grind as I titled it and see why I chose this video to present the topic of GDP. What do you think are the components of GDP and how does this video reflect that? Okay, so that is a pre-recorded audio that I did uh, for, you know, preparing the, the class for the topic on GDP. Now, if I click this uh, button, okay, it will give me this video on uh, the daily grind. Uh, the student can expand this or they if they, it's too small for them they can just click the link and it will uh, lead them to the youtube youtube link so what i want is the student to watch this video and try to um interpret what I'm trying to say about GDP growth and economic development uh, through this uh, video that I linked in here. So that's fine. Now, if I click this one, uh, this discusses the difference between GNP and GDP. So here's the uh, text for that. And if the student wants to hear my voice, okay, hold on. Okay, just have to click this one.